Hello, this is Christy. Today I'm going to show you how you can create multi-column text in Zara Designer Pro X. In Zara you can add simple text on the page by using the text tool and just typing your text. This is my title, for example, but this is not multi-column text and it does not flow. If you want to uh, break the sentence here or go to a new line you have to press enter and so on so this is a text object but how do you create maybe if you want to design a brochure or a magazine or even a newspaper Zara Designer Pro does include tools to manage text in more complex scenarios similar to InDesign from Adobe it's not as advanced as InDesign but you can still design simple brochures and flyers and stuff with it that you need to have flowing text. So let me show you. Instead of clicking T, -T for text and clicking on the page, you can drag to design a text box. So like this, I'm designing a text box. So inside of this text box I can now type my text. And as you can see my text is flowing onto a new line when I have to when I get to the end of this box. So if I change the size, this is a bit large, I can add here more text and create a column of text. I have copied some text from the internet from the Laura Mipson website. So I'm going to paste this one here. There's a lot of text. I'm pasting it as unformatted text. And Zara does scroll down to show me that my text is much longer than my page and my box. So what you can see now here is my text box is full of text and the overflow text disappears onto the bottom. If I were to print this page now, my text would not print because it cuts off here. Zara does show it to me with a faded color to see that I have actually some text left over that I have to make sure I put it on my page. So the way to do that is, you can see here, there's also this indicator that shows you that the text cuts off here, but there's more text. So what you can do is just keeping the text tool selected, just click and drag somewhere on the page to create another text box. And now the text flows into this new text box. So the condition for that was that I had to select my first text box and, and then using that tool uh, will flow it. But if I didn't have that selected, you can see down here I still have text going over the box. So what am I going to do? First of all, maybe I want to change my page size to fit this text on. Or maybe I want to add a new page and I want my text to flow onto the new page. So I can even go back to the text tool and create another text box. But as you can see now, my text doesn't flow in here because I have not linked it. So this is just a blank new text box with no text in it. But also my other text box has text that's being cut off. So all I have to do is just using this text tool, click on the other box that has the text that's not doesn't fit. And if I click on this arrow, you, see, you notice my cursor changes to a linking tool. So I click on this and hold and then drag this arrow to the box, to the text box where I want my text to continue and release. And now my text flows from here to the new text box. And as you can see, it has now fit onto the whole text and it's on the second page. If you want to do this with a different page size, for example, you want to change this to landscape, you don't like it to go onto a second page, right click on your page, click page options, and maybe make it landscape and apply and click OK. And now you are free to move this text box onto the other page and the text will flow, will continue to flow nicely onto the box. You can even adjust the size of these boxes and text will automatically reflow. So as I move up on, on this box, it will flow the text automatically to where it needs to be. So like that. And then this second one, it is too large so I can make it smaller and move it up like this. And as you can see, all of my text readjusts and reflows to where it needs to go and respects all of the boxes that I have created. Now, if you still have too much text, you can of course change the text size if you really want it to fit on one page. So, for example, this one 
it still doesn't fit in my box here. So all I can do is just make it smaller, for example. So using the text tool, click in any of the boxes, doesn't matter which one, control A to select all of the text and then change the size maybe to 10 points. So now Zara has reflown all of the text to have this size and now it fits onto my document in all the three boxes. Of course you can go in double click to create new paragraphs and whatever changes you make they keep reflowing the text and it just goes on and on until the edge of your box. Now another nice thing about this is that you can um, introduce objects so if you have like a newspaper article you want to introduce a graphic object or a picture in between your paragraphs of text or in the middle of your text you can do this and let me show you I'm just going to bring in my logo in here so this is a fairly big object I'm going to make it slightly smaller like that and I'm going to place it somewhere here so of course now the text is not flowing around this picture it's underneath so I want to change this so I want to right click on my picture and choose the option for repelling and anchoring. So before I can do that, I can just click repel text under, which tells my tell Zara to flow the text to repel the text under my picture. So click on this and now the text goes around my picture. This is a transparent PNG. So Zara knows the boundaries of the image that I just placed in here and all of the text, as you can see, runs around my image. If I'm not happy with this, I can right click and click on repelling and anchoring. And now you can see here that I can change this from the text flowing around the edges of the, the actual graphic to maybe a rectangular repelling, which means my uh, Zara is going to create a box around your object like this. So now the object is safe in a box and the text goes around it. So this might be better if you want to have a nice and even sort of uh, spacing around it. You can of course right click on this and go repelling and you can change here the margin for repelling. So if I want to have one centimeter around my picture, change one centimeter here and now the text will keep a safe margin of one centimeter around my object. And this also applies if you don't have the rectangular repelling if you just make it follow the size the shape of your object like this. So this looks quite nice. And of course, these repelling options go and follow the object. So if I'm moving this picture, you can see the text just repels around this picture and never, never touches it. Now, in this situation, of course, you can see that my text has again lost some space on the page and is now flowing outside of my page. And of course, you can readjust this by changing the uh, size of the text or making it flow onto another page and so on. So this is a simple tutorial about creating multi-column text in Zara and flowing text and linking text boxes uh, to create complex layouts for publications and also how to put an object onto the page and have it repelled the text around the object. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like my tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and see you next time.